Welcome everyone to chapter 4 part 1 where we are going to start graphing equations of lines and writing different types of equations of lines. So number 1, we're asked to write the line in slope intercept form with the given slope and y intercept and then graph the equation. Our slope is negative 2, our y intercept is 3. Well if we look over here, our slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b where m is our slope and b is our y intercept. So if I write that down over here, y equals mx plus b, my slope is negative 2, so my slope goes in for m, so it's y equals negative 2x. Your slope is always in front of the, the x, it's always to the left of the x, it's always being multiplied to the x, plus, and now your y-intercept, we have to be careful here because it's not y, it is a b, and so it's plus 3. So now how do we graph this? Let's start, always start with your y-intercept. It is plus 3, so I'm going to go up from my origin. 1, 2, 3, put a point. Now, we have a slope of negative 2. So I'm going to go down 2, and I have to go over to the right one to create a negative slope. I want to go down from right to left, or from left to right. I want to go downhill. So I'm going to draw 3 points, go down 2 more, over to the right to make a negative slope and then I am going to connect the dots and there is y equals negative 2x plus 3. Next I'm going to do the same thing. Again my slope is my 1 half is my m so it's y equals 1 half and that's going in for m x and then my y-intercept, now we have a negative 3, so instead of plus negative 3, I'm just going to make it negative 3 right away. Let's go ahead and graph this. Now, from my origin, the first thing I want to do is graph my y-intercept. So I go down 3. I put a point. Now, remember, slope is rise over run. So from that point, we're going from that point. We go up 1, and now we want to go uphill because it's positive. So I'm going to go over to the right. And I'm going to go up one again, over to the right. I'm going to connect those dots to make a straight line. And there is the graph of y equals 1 half x minus 3. Now I'm asked to graph something like this. When we get this equation, we want it to look like our slope-intercept form. How does this differ from this? Well, y is by itself. So in this equation, in number 3, we want to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And so now I'm left with 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. My y is still not by itself. I have to divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So now y is finally by itself. Always leave this as an improper fraction. Always leave that part as an improper fraction. So I'm just going to write write it, negative 3 halves x plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. So again, let's graph this. From my origin, it's plus 3, so I go up 3. Always start at your origin, up 3. Now, I go down because it's negative, 1, 2, 3, and over 2. Make sure that you go downhill because it's a negative slope, and then we just have to connect the dots, and there's the graph of y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. Now we're asked to write an equation of a line that passes through the given point and has a given slope. Well, we are still going to use this guy. Still going to use this equation. Now, please note that this point, right, this point right here is an x and a y. We have an x and a y in slope or in uh, slope-intercept form. So I'm going to put that 2, which is y, and for the equation, equals, I'm going to put this x, or my slope, in for m, and this x, in for the equation, plus b. Now when you put everything into the equation, we're going to come up with our y-intercept. So that's what we're looking for. So now we saw 2 equals 3 plus b. Solve for b. We subtract 3 over, subtract a 3 over, b equals negative 1. So now we have b equals negative 1. We have our slope, 
and we can plug it all into right there. So we have y equals our slope of 3 times x. What's our y-intercept? Negative 1, just what we were doing before. Now with 5, we have to do 5 the same way. We have a x and a y, so I'm going to go ahead and plug those in. Negative 1 from our y. What's my slope? My slope is 2 fifths. My x is negative 3 plus b. I multiply this out. Negative 1 equals negative 6 fifths plus b. Add the 6 fifths over to the other side. Plus 6 fifths plus 6 fifths. So I have a positive 1 fifth equals b. And so now if I rewrite this equation, I have, I'm going to go over here a little bit, y equals my slope, which is 2 fifths x plus 1 fifth. Final answer right there. Moving on to number 6. Now I have to write an equation of a line that passes through the given points. Well, if we go back, what did we have here that we don't have on number 6? We had the slope and a point. So now all we have to do here is find a slope, and then we can do exactly what we did in 4 and 5. So first thing we have to do is find the slope. How do we find the slope? Remember that we have to go x, y, x, y, where it is, y minus y over x minus x to find the slope. So let's go ahead and do it. We go negative 1 minus 2, because those are our y's, and then 2 minus 5 which equals negative 3 over negative 3, which turns out to be a positive 1. Next, we do the exact same thing that we did on 4 and 5. So there is the equation of the slope-intercept form. And so now let's go ahead. You can pick any of these points, but I'm going to use this one. Okay, You can use this one. You can even double-check the work with using this one, but we'll come up with the same equation. So I plug my y in, and I'm, I plug my y in, so I have negative 1 equals my slope 1 times 2 plus b, which we don't know. So simplify 2 plus b, subtract the 2 over it's negative 3 equals b. So now I have my slope, I have my b, so we have y equals 1x minus 3, and if you want, we can simplify it even a little bit further. y equals x minus 3. One more time here with 7. Again, the first thing we have to do is use this guy to find our slope. So we go y minus y over x minus x to get negative 1 over negative 2, which simplifies to positive 1 half. Now we plug everything in to our equation, and I'm going to use this point. Right? You could use this point to get the same answer, but I'm going to use that point. So we plug everything in. We have 5 equals 1 half times 3 plus b, where y or 5 equals 3 halves plus b. Subtract over to get 3 halves equals b. Final equation, when we plug everything in, y equals our slope, which is 1 half x plus 3 halves. This is the equation that we're looking for. Now, for number 8, we are asked, write an equation in point slope form for the line that passes through the given point. Right? First thing you need to know is point slope form is right here. Now, when we plug this in, these points, we have to be very careful. These points are going to go in for x1 and y1 in point-slope form. So from our equation, we have y minus y1 is 1 equals our slope is negative 3. And then we have our x, which is x minus from our equation, and then minus 2. Close it up. Now let's clean this equation up to make it look all pretty. So we have negative 3, and then plus a minus turn into a, or minus a minus turn into one big plus, so it's x plus two for our final answer. With nine, write 
equation in standard form. This, guys, has to go down your notes. This is standard form, another way to write an equation of a line. How do we do that? We just have to simplify this equation. So first thing we have to do is distribute. So y minus 3 equals 5x minus 10. Now we are going to solve. We're going to get y by itself for right now. So I add 3 to the other side, add 3 to this side. So now we have y equals 5x minus 7. Now what am I missing? We have y by itself, but look over, look over here. What's with y? The x. So I have to get the x over. How do I get the x over? I have to subtract it over. So I subtract the 5x. So now I have y minus 5x equals negative 7. And now let's write it correctly. Let's put the x in front. So now it's negative 5x plus y equals negative 7. This answer would be completely all right with me, but some math books and other teachers as you grow up want this to be positive. So what you have to do is multiply the whole thing by a negative one to get 5x minus y equals positive 7. So if you want, you just change all your positives to negatives and all your negatives to positive. So on number 10, let's try it again. With number 10, it's a little bit different here because we have this one half. We have to take care of this one half first. So how we take care of that is we multiply everything by 2. We multiply whatever number by whatever number is on that bottom of the fraction. So with number 10, we go 2y plus 12 equals x minus 3. Now, what did we do? We just distributed that 2 to every term. We're leaving the parentheses as is, so we have 2y, again, we have 2y plus 12 equals x minus 3. Now, let's simplify this. Let's get the 2y by itself. So we have 2y equals x minus 3 minus 12. Cleaning up that right side, we have 2y equals x minus 15. Now, we won't bring the x over to the other side. How do you do that? You subtract, so it's 2y minus x equals negative 15. Rearrange this to make it look like this. We have negative x plus 2y equals negative 15. I would accept this answer, or if you want, make everything. Change your positives to negatives, negatives to positive, because this x is negative. So we have x minus 2y equals 15 for a final answer. 11. Now we are asked to write each equation in slope-intercept form. Well, again, what is slope-intercept form? Here, where y is by itself. So let's go ahead and get y by itself. First thing we have to do is distribute whatever is in front of the parentheses and then bring it down. So we have 3x minus 15. Well, what's attached to the y? A negative 2. It's through subtraction, so we have to add it to the other side. Remember your like terms. So we add it to the negative 15. So y equals 3x minus 13. Slope intercept form right there. Last one. With 12, same thing. Multiply first, or distribute, I should say, first. Negative 4x plus 12. Bring down everything else on the other side. y plus 6 equals. Now, move over the 6. How do you move over the 6? Through subtraction. And so now we have y equals negative 4x plus 6 for your final answer. And thanks for tuning in.